Welcome to How to Add Your Product to ClickBank. In this video, I will take you through the basics of how you can add a new product to your ClickBank account. It is an easy process that can be done without breaking a sweat. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your ClickBank account, click on the Settings tab and then select My Products. This is the page where you will find all your previously uploaded ClickBank products. But because this is a new account, you'll see that I don't have any listed on here yet. Go to this Add New section and click Product. You will then arrive on this page where you can start creating your product. First, select your product type. You can select each of these and read the description here to find out more about which category your product falls into. Typically, if it's a one off ebook, you want to select this first option. Now, here under Categories, you want to select the nature of your product, whether it's audio, an ebook, a game, website membership, software, or a video. I'm just going to select ebook for now. For item number, this is generated by ClickBank by default, but if you like, you can customize it as long as you only use numbers and alphabets. Once you're done with this, move on to the product title. I'm just going to type in test for now. You can also select the language of your product from this list here. You also have the option to include an image. However, if this is your first time adding a product to ClickBank, you won't be able to do this until your product is approved. For pitch page, what it actually is, is your sales page. So type in your product's sales page URL into this field here, and if you have a separate mobile URL, add that in the field below. Next, we want to fill up our pricing and commission details. Select your currency here, any currency from this list. Then, input the price of purchasing your product here. For commission, this is the cut your affiliates will get for effectively promoting your products. It's now at a default 25%, but you can change this to whatever you like if you feel it's necessary. Now, here is where you insert the link to your thank you page. This is the page your customers will be directed to once they have completed their purchase. Again, you can add in a mobile URL as well if you've configured one. Once all this info has been entered, click on the Save Product button down here. You'll see that the product is already listed here. But this over here says, Approval Request Required. You'll now need to click on this to send in an approval request. On this page, you'll need to fill up additional information to send in an approval request. Just take a look over here and double check all this information. These hoplink target URLs are the same ones which you would have configured under the My Site tab. Double check your pitch page and thank you page URLs and make sure you have the right price. In this field here, you want to give ClickBank a brief overview of your product. Let ClickBank know just a little bit more about the product. For now, I'm just going to type in test. And over here, do specify whether you are the creator of the product. If you are, select yes. If not, Select No and be sure to fill in the field below stating who you bought the license from. And over here, regarding promotions and guidelines, you want to select Yes. Regarding endorsements or testimonials, if your site has them, they have to be compliant, so click Yes. If your website doesn't have any such endorsements, then you want to click Not Applicable. Did you make a test purchase yet? If you haven't done a test purchase before, do it now and then select Yes. Then in this field here, add in extra information regarding accessing your site. For example, contribute login details if the ClickBank admin needs a certain login to access your site. And then you can go ahead and submit your product approval request. And you'll see over here that your product approval request has been received and that ClickBank will take three to five days to process your request. Now all you have to do is wait. ClickBank will take a few days to approve your request. If it isn't approved, you might have overlooked some ClickBank terms and conditions, in which case a ClickBank representative will get back to you. And that's all there is to it. Once your product has been approved, you can start selling the product with your customized payment link.
I will teach you how to set up a sales funnel on ClickBank. To do this, you will need to have already added some products to your ClickBank account. These will be the products that you use as upsells or downsells. Now let's get to it. Once you've logged into your ClickBank account, click on the Settings tab, and then select My Products. This is the page where you will find all your previously uploaded ClickBank products. As you can see here, I've added a few test products here already. Now, what you want to do is go to this Add New section and click on Upsell Flow. It will bring you here. This is where you name your sales funnel in this box here. So for this one, I'm just going to type in Test, then just click Create Flow. Now this is the page where you can start crafting your Pitch Plus Upsell Flow. Over here, Offer 1 will be the first upsell product offered to your customers after their initial purchase is completed. Click on Select. This pop-up is for you to customize the details of Offer 1, your first upsell. Click on the Products drop-down menu. This will list all of the products that you have already added to ClickBank. These are the item numbers. From this list, select the item you want to use as an upsell. Then, below that, input your pitch URL, better known as your sales page URL. Below that, you can also put in an optional mobile pitch URL. Also, state the commission your affiliates will get for promoting your product. You'll notice here that I've got this yellow triangle. That's because the products on my account are test products, so they haven't been approved by ClickBank. This is why you should make sure to add your products to ClickBank earlier on and have them approved before moving on to creating your sales funnel. Once you've set up your first offer, move on to Offer 2. You can set which product to offer your customers who accept your first offer. This is your upsell. Click on the Select button here to choose your upsell. And again, click on the Products drop-down menu and select your product. Then insert your pitch URL and optional mobile pitch URL. Fill in your commission, then hit save. Now, do the same thing for your downsell, the product you offer your customers when they decline offer one. Same thing, select a product, insert the URL or URLs, state the commission, then hit save. Now you can move on to doing the same with offer three. So if they accept or decline your second offer, you can still send them to another product page. You can also just leave it at these two offers that we've just configured. On ClickBank, or rather ClickBank's Pitch Plus Upsell Flow, you are only allowed to create a maximum of up to three offers. So feel free to configure the rest of these. And once you're done, just hit Close. And there you have it. This is your sales funnel. It's now being reviewed by ClickBank. You will receive a response within three to five business days, letting you know if any changes need to be made or if the upsell flow is approved. And that's really all there is to it. After having your product approved on ClickBank, you'll see that it says the status is approved. That being said, the next thing you'll want to do is add the payment button to your web page. The thing about ClickBank is that this part is, surprisingly, somewhat primitive compared to the other systems in the market. So this is the part that often confuses people. Because if you look at their help pages, you'll see that creating your payment link follows this formula, http colon slash slash item dot vendor dot pay dot clickbank dot net. So basically, you have to follow this formula to create your payment link for your website. So in this case, I'm using this account as an example. The account name is Launch Mech. And if you look here, the item number is 1, and the account name is Launch Mech. So when you edit your page in your HTML editor like Dreamweaver or whichever you use, the formula in this case will be http colon slash slash one dot launch mech dot pay dot clickbank dot net so this is your custom payment url so you want to just double check that this is the correct buy button and before you upload this web page to your hosting account you want to just check that it's working fine that said let's just do a quick check to see that everything's good
All right, it shows that the ClickBank checkout page loads correctly. Next, you might even want to do a test purchase to be doubly sure that everything works fine. And if I'm not mistaken, you can use a test purchase code on ClickBank. With that said, that's all there is to it. Here's to your marketing success. Thank you.